Hi chaps, John here at Microasis. Welcome to Microasis Workshop and to our fifth video in the camel build. Uh, let's see where we've got up to so far. Um, let's get down onto the billboard. So this is what we've completed. Let's just grab our, our uh, kit so far. Um, this is actually the this isn't the one that I built on camera. This is uh, one that I built um, uh, separately after the uh, after the, the first uh, wing on. Um, I'm building two, as you're probably well aware, um, so that if I uh, screw up on one, I've got another chance <laughs> of getting it right on camera. Um, you may have noticed in the previous video, um, we had a little bit of a, a problem around uh, the putting the, the, the part on under the wings. Um, the second one that I did, the second build, uh, was a lot simpler. I didn't have to do any trimming at all. And the reason for that was that the, uh, the fuselage frame was that little bit shorter, i.e. it didn't come down so far in the uh, in the fuselage and the wings just sort of slotted into place so obviously i'd made a little bit of an error um in uh, in the uh, in the other build um that uh, prevented that and so i had to do a little bit of trimming but this is all it's all quite flexible and uh, obviously you just need to know that um if uh, if it isn't fitting or that isn't fitting correctly um then it could be something to do with um uh, the previous steps that have been taken and it's worth just having a, a look around to see if there's anything you can do before uh, installing the wing and, and then having a uh, an issue with um, with this piece here but uh, um, both of them are looking are looking pretty good I'm very happy with uh, with how the build's gone on I've actually I've, I was just checking the the, uh, the stickers and the sticker um, pack was cutting correctly so I, I just used one of the stickers there to, uh, to just cover up the uh, um, the, the fuselage um, framework the airframe I should say um, uh, we'll do that on this one at a, a later stage when it tells us in the instructions so uh, yeah happy with uh, with all those uh, all of those steps now so the next stage we are moving on to is uh, the undercarriage. So uh, the undercarriage itself um, is made of the polyester sheet reinforced with the uh, pieces of carbon fiber um, and there are some stickers as well. Um, we've also got some um, some rigging material here. Now in your parts pack, um, it's, uh, all your, your bits and bobs, um, you'll have a little brown envelope hopefully if I've but it correctly um, and on there it says stretch so uh, hot tip before using the enclosed rigging wire remove any residual elasticity big words uh, by hanging weight from the thread for 24 hours so I'll probably if you haven't done already get the um, get the thread out and uh, and go hang it up I this is a, a sample I've already uh, already hung my I've hung it basically hung it from um, a uh, curtain rail and uh, weighted it and I put quite a bit of weight on it as well this is I mean it's it's fishing line so um, it, it can take uh, it can take quite a quite a weight sort of 20 25 pounds um, you can put less on but uh, obviously yeah, yeah so uh, get that done before we uh, we go about rigging and the reason for doing that is to get out the the stretch so that when we install it in the aircraft glue it into position it doesn't get too slack over time so hot tip there we go right we need our plastics so where are they where are they here we go so on our plastic sheet, let's just clear the decks for now. We don't actually need the, uh, the rest of the bill at this stage. But what we do need is our P19. So we'll 
remove that from the sprue. In fact, I'll crack on doing this. You don't have to watch me. I'll pause the video and uh, come back to you when uh, when it's all done. So we've got our parts uh, for the uh, for the first step. Um, it's uh, P19, P20, P21. And the first thing we do is to stick our little P2021s onto the opposing side of the undercarriage. So this particular part goes here. It should all line up with the, uh, the undercarriage part on the other side. And what we want to do when we're gluing um, is we don't want to get any particularly close to the uh, little circular hole. Sorry, the there there are two holes there. I've just noticed, not the little circular hole, which is absolutely tiny. That's for the rigging. Um, it's the hole that the axle goes through. So if we get any glue in that area, then uh, it might slow the axle from uh, or stop the axle from turning. So. Uh, We'll just avoid that area. That's the wrong part. See me making a mistake as I did it. So, okay, I've missed putting a little bit of glue on the uh, cross member. Let's just add a little there. And pop our part on there gently. go a little bit of glue squeezing out so i'm just going to remove that get rid of it and then we'll get to do the uh, the other side too now it's quite warm today so the glue is flowing well so i'm using the uh the tube in an upright position so i'm using gravity to uh help control the, the flow so I don't get huge gobs of it all over the place. Go. Put that into place. Fantastic. There we go. So we can put that to one side now. Now we need some form of measuring and we also need from our other bag of bits a piece of long piece of well half meter length of carbon fiber strip and we have our uh, Uh, assembly guide back so I can see the uh well there we go it's that's easy we just need 31 millimeters times four so it's not particularly difficult to cut this carbon fiber what I've just done there is just marked it and I can if I run my blade the blade falls into the uh, into the, the score and then if I just use my blade I can then use that one that I've just cut as a template for the other three so one thing hold it hold all parts or the common fibre tends to fly all over the place otherwise. There we go. One more. Good. So now we come to put the carbon fibre onto the um, the undercarriage struts. Now the way I like to do this 
is to add the uh, the glue to the carbon fiber strip and it doesn't need a lot so i'm using the old gravity method holding the tube so a little, a little more upright because it's a warm day and the glue is fluid and then just handling the carbon fiber very delicately and popping it onto the strut there now a couple of things to um, uh, take note of when you're doing this firstly the little um, part that we put on the bottom of the undercarriage there on the uh, on the reverse side um, there are a couple of recesses in it and you can put the carbon fiber along the uh, the edge of that recess and then push it down to uh, butt up with the uh, the part itself um, and secondly avoid putting the carbon fiber over the little hole at the top which is one of the rigging holes um, because obviously if you cover that then we won't be able to get the rigging tool through um, so uh, so there we go right i'll carry on putting the carbon fiber on and uh, i'll come back once we're uh, once we're done so there we have all our carbon fiber in place um, it's obviously used to uh, to stiffen up the uh, the undercarriage itself um, so it can take all those knocks and uh, heavy landings um, right the next stage is to uh, apply some stickers to uh, cover over the uh, multitude of sins we've created by sticking carbon fiber to the inside of the uh, of the plastics so i've noticed another error in the uh, in the manual um s20 so the the stickers we're using are s20 through to s23 um but however s22 is shown in the s20 position and s20 is shown in the s22 position so uh all should become clear when you come to offer up so let's just bring that so that, that's that's the forward that's forward facing that way um so it's saying that the s20 um should go on this leg here but uh, quite obviously it's not going to fit it's actually going to go on to the uh, the other side, which is the uh, port side. So I can uh, once again use the tweezers to get uh, get my big fat fingers out of the way, and then just align it onto the leg itself as best you can. Just check the other side. Um, what we don't want to do is uh, have a big white line of self-adhesive material sticking out over the side. So uh, that all looks pretty good. And the other thing I like to do is just to, to uh, push the sticker home. I use the back edge of my um, uh, scalpel just to push the, uh, the sticker down onto the, the plastic on the edges around the uh, the carbon fiber and just it doesn't doesn't look particularly scale but this is structural and i want everything to stay together so getting everything that can stick to stick is uh, is always a good idea right i'm going to crack on and do the uh, the rest of the stickers you've seen how i've done one the rest are exactly the same and then we'll come back and we will do some other bits so we've got our stickers on the undercarriage and the next thing we need to put on is the, uh, the cross brace that sits between the, uh, the two wheels that forms the bottom of the undercarriage and that part is just simply a uh, plastic part P24, there we go. And P24, as per the instructions, this folds in uh, in half, and that's actually the score is is uh, it's not 
providing much of a uh, much of a folding point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually increase the score depth by just running a knife across it a couple of times. Not going all the way through, obviously. But um, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is just bring those two together. Let's just add some of the Yuhu ball. I'm going to just add it to one side. So, and then I'm going to bring the two sides together and just transfer some of that glue over and just open it out and let that dry off. And whilst it's drying off, we can actually bend these legs down. So these aren't scored because we need the strength in the uh, in the plastic being uh, being undercarriage. Um, so all we do is just fold it, each of the uh, the leg struts, at the point where it meets the uh, the white part of the of the um, undercarriage. So it folds down like that. So you've got your carbon fibre bits on the inside, um, and you've got the the plastic part sitting on the outside, like so. And you can do both. It should it should fold relatively easily and then assume the shape of the undercarriage like so. Our uh, cross brace is now glued and all we have to do is pop it into the slots at the bottom of the uh, the undercarriage that you'll be able to pretty clearly see, I hope. Um, the graphic of the axle um is uh, should be uppermost so um that should give you a clue as to the orientation and uh, if you have been able to successfully fold it without slicing the two pieces in half um and uh, and gluing it together then the the part that is uh, folded should face forward basically if it starts to come apart um then uh, it'll be more aerodynamic than um than the other way around so so what we do is just insert these ends through these gaps here through the slots and they're quite a tight fit but they should go there we go there's one and one to the other so we just slide in one side first and then press home with the uh the other side. And if it doesn't seem to want to go through, then just use the knife. Oh, slippery little sucker. Um, just to may open up the slot just slightly. Might be some glue from previous uh, previously bring the uh, the undercarriage parts together it might uh, might have closed it up a bit or causing some friction so let's try again to bent one of those legs so straighten that out a bit it going through nearly there hmm. well we got one leg through the other one split off so I'm just going to trim it a little if that helps there we go so now you can glue this into place, um, but it's quite secure where it is. It's not going to come out, um, so I'm quite happy to uh, to leave that uh, 
leave that out and in fact it will it will get glued eventually anyway when we put the rigging on we'll actually uh, attach the rigging secure it and some of that glue can be used to uh, just wick into uh, into the, uh, the slot so there we have it we can uh, we can actually now pinch the uh, folds that we've made for the top of the undercarriage now so that the plastic part lies nice and flat and of course that's quite flexible at the moment so what we're going to do is rig it um, and to do this we need our rigging line which hopefully you have been stretching for 24 hours or more I'm going to get a section of about 25 centimeters let's have a look we probably don't need that much but there's plenty of, uh, of material here so there's, there's my piece and at one end of it I'm just going to tie a, uh, a stopper knot material uh, the stopper knot is where you go sort of, uh, around the tree and through the hole I don't know whether you've used that, that method of uh, not tying before but uh, it, um, so it forms a you can see that almost look looks a bit like a um, pretzel and uh, then bring that tighten that up I'm just going to take off the tail and then using our trusty needle threader we're going to start rigging this so we according to the instructions if we start at um the on the uh that's the port leg we need to do is there should be there's a, there above the slot that the cross member goes into there's a, uh, a relatively big hole and then a small hole uh, below it or as i'm holding it this way but above it um orienting the under the undercarriage in its true position um what you want to do is just push the uh the needle threader through that smaller hole and then with the unknotted end just pop that through the needle threader and then pull that through the hole so that the knot obviously being a stopper knot stops it going any further then you've got a couple of holes in the center of the uh, undercarriage part there and there and we want um, this one to go over to its opposite side so just pop the needle threader through get our thread our rigging material pop that through the needle it's just slightly open at the end so it's resisting that through and we can pull that through from there now you notice the holes are quite a, a peculiar shape um, and that's because they uh, lock once the the thread is in there um, they can be used to lock the thread in place so I'm just going to go from the underside up on this hole okay Through. Right through. There you go. As you can see, that won't that won't actually tighten this this. Let me show you there. This won't actually tighten um, this slack piece here because it's already locked in place in these holes. Um, the way to free it is you just have to uh, pull it out of the little um, the narrowing. The, uh, of the the hole and that and it allows it to uh, to pull through so so the last bit is just to go from the outside through that very that small hole above the uh, the hole where the axle goes through um, 
Let's get the thread through. Well, went through the hole, just made it. And then what we need to do is obviously tighten this all up and secure this end. Now, what I normally do firstly is just make sure we've got the tension we need on that first part. And then pull that through. And then when I'm happy with the tension, I actually use the outer part of that cross brace um, to wrap the thread around. And I wrap it a couple of times and then I go through the um, that center slot and wrap it again if there's room. Just pushing it towards the um, towards the undercarriage itself. And then just lock that as firmly as I can, and then add, I'm going to use some super fatic here, but you can use uh, CA, get the top off, there we go, uh, use CA glue, um, especially if you've got a kicker for it as well, it'll um, set it quickly, I'm just going to redo that, I wasn't particularly happy with how that was Shaped. So let's just do that. I've just done a simple wrap there, and then I'm just going to add a little blob of CA, a little wick into the uh, the thread itself, and also the uh, lock it onto the material. So, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave the tail on. There. And I'm just going to add a little blob here to where, where the stopper knot is. And then if you want to, you can add a little bit to the cross member. Just to lock that in place as well. So just going to pop that to one side to all dry off. And, uh, and then we can continue with getting the undercarriage onto the fuselage. So with that uh, now dry, um, let's put the back on there. But, uh, we'll need we'll need that later. Right, it's got a lot more work to do. That has. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the excess rigging. So we'll, uh, get rid of that. And then what we need to do is actually attach a. Um, a sticker to the uh, to the underside, um, and that basically uh, decorates it um, against the uh, fuselage, and also helps um, adhere the whole thing to the uh, fuselage as well. Now the sticker in question is S16, and it's quite a complex shape, so I'm going to be very careful how I peel this off. Just so I get it all in one piece, hopefully. So let's start peeling. Let's do it. There we go. Just going to change my grip on it to between just that there. There we go. So this slides on to the the front part of the um of the undercarriage there um now it's going to be very difficult to do if this is always constantly wanting to stick so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the 
patented tongue water to the to the back to stop it sticking temporarily. So there we go. Now we can pop that in place. Those little slots at the front should go around the um, the, the um, undercarriage struts. Let me pick this up. It's a little bit too far away for me to uh, make a good judgment. At the moment, it's sort of behaving like a uh, a water slide decal. If you've ever made Airfix kits before, or well, any plastic kits, but the material, fortunately, is a little bit tougher. So, okay, we've got one bit around the leg. Let's uh, let's go for our other side now. There we go. And make sure it covers all of the plastic up. Like white showing. There we go. Fantastic. And then that uh, over a period of time should um, should dry off. Now, uh, what we need to do is get our aircraft back. There we go. And we can now attach this to the fuselage and you can see where it goes there's uh, there's actually um some white areas to uh, allow you to to line it up and of course it should come to the uh, front edge of the uh, of the fuselage as well um so it should be pretty obvious where it uh, where it all goes um the best way i find to attach it is we'll put some glue on the area here bring that into contact with the underside of the fuselage and uh, and bring it apart again and uh, use the contact adhesive qualities of Yuhu to uh, to secure it in place so um Obviously, some of the areas that are really important to get glue on are where the uh, the struts are for the undercarriage. That's where the strength needs to be in the attachment to the fuselage. Um, but uh, yeah, just get it all over, and then you can bring that to bear on the fuselage itself. Make sure the glue gets transferred. And then whip it off, get rid of all that stringy glue, and then we can leave it to uh, to dry off for a few minutes, um, and then come back and attach the uh, uh, the entire undercarriage to the fuselage. Okay, the uh, glue should be ready for attaching the undercarriage so i'm just going to make sure we've got alignment at the front and alignment at the back and i'm just going to use uh, some of the tools that we have just to make sure everything is where it should be so The front here, you've got these little stickers bulging out. Um, and basically what you need to do is fold those stickers down. And they should tuck in under the side of the fuselage. So you certainly will probably need a tool. I mean, the back of the knife works really well. 
for this purpose. Just get it nested down onto uh, onto there, and then use the other bits of the knife for getting everything into place. So, okay, that worked very well there. Let's do the other side. see that just getting tucked under okay fantastic okay Yeah, we have the undercarriage on. Let's see, I think that's the end of it, is it? No, it's not. Good seam, it is. There we go. So next, next step, we're on to the uh, details, uh, which is uh, essentially putting some of the um, the gun parts in place on the hump of the camel. So. It looks like we've come to the end of stage five for the undercarriage at the moment there are there are a few there's a, there's one more sticker that has to go on there um that'll be later on in the build um so uh, for now um let's come back up to uh full screen and uh, just say for now thank you ever so much for watching i hope this particular um rather laborious step has been useful for you and uh, and i hope your build is going successfully um yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye mm -hmm.